and welcome back to Homebuilt Help's Tip of the Week. This week we're going to continue from where we left off last week. Last week's tip we talked about the components to be used for plumbing the pedo and static system of your aircraft. This week we're going to talk about testing the system for leaks. Why are leaks important? Well, first, we could have a leak because of all of those fittings we put in our line. Maybe we didn't install them properly. Maybe one was defective. We want to test the system when it's all completely finished. And the reason leaks are important is because we know that the accuracy of our airspeed and our altimeter and vertical speed indicator, etc., are all dependent on a leak-free system in both the pressurization of the pedo system and the vacuum of the static system. So let's take a look at a simple way that you can test your system and feel confident that it's going to do the right thing because it is in fact leak free. First we want to get a set of syringes. You only need one but these came in a pack of four or five. Very inexpensive and what's nice is that they come with a curved tip which makes it easy to attach a hose. And these are, I believe, 12 milliliters, 12 cc size. Um, you don't want to get one of these big ones that they use at the uh, veterinarian. There's uh, too much capacity in there for what we're going to do. So go for the uh, smaller one. But Amazon has these all over the place, very inexpensive. And you can use them for other things around the house. Next, we want to get some hose. Doesn't matter what type other than the hose should fit on the curved tip and give us a pretty good seal. Now, the most important issue of using this syringe when testing our system is to not press it too far or too much. Just about a quarter of an inch, just like this. That's it. If you go any further than that without checking your instruments first, you're going to hurt something. So I can't overstress this. Always press just a little bit, like a quarter of an inch, about that much. You can always add a little more if you have to, but never more than that without first checking your instruments. Don't ruin your instruments. This works great if you move it just a little bit at a time. Now, let's go over and identify our pedo port. On my aircraft, this is the pedo and this is the static. We want to connect the other end of our rubber tube to the pedo port. And I'm just going to slip it over. That. And now, my syringe is attached Remember, we're going to be very careful about pressing the plunger, only going to move it at most a quarter inch at a time. Let's take a quick look now at the airspeed indicator. The airspeed indicator should be zero, and of course that's what we expect. Now let's come back over to our plunger, and I'm going to press it just a little bit just one quarter of an inch. We see that it has moved because we have pressurized the pedo system and I can come back to the plunger and push it another quarter of an inch if I desire. And we can go back and look at the airspeed indicator. As we are pressurizing the pedo system this is the same as speeding through the air and pressurizing through the pitot tube with the air flowing into it, but our system is sealed so we should see no further movement in the indicator. If this will hold for at least a minute, we know that there are no leaks in the system. In fact, the FAA has a guideline for how much speed we can lose during this test. When we are done, we can simply remove the hose from the pitot and that will release the pressure. For testing the static system, 
I can't simply put a tube over my static port because this end is sealed. I have a couple of tiny, tiny holes located in the surface of this tube. So what I'm going to do is simply put a piece of tape around my tiny holes and seal this off so that we are sealed from the atmosphere on my static ports here. Then I'm going to go locate the plastic static line and tap into it with my syringe. Here is the configuration for testing the static port. I have my syringe, hose. I made the small hose go up to a slightly larger hose because I want to connect to a piece of quarter inch plastic line, the same line we use for our pedo and static lines. And then at the other end of this line, I have one of the push-on connectors we talked about in last week's tip. This is a T. So in other words, we're going to be able to go and intercept, and I'm going to cut my static line inside my aircraft at a very easy to get at location. Simply cut it and then insert the static line that I cut into both of these ends. So now my syringe will create the vacuum that I want, not pressure, but vacuum in the static line. And of course, when I'm all done, I can simply remove the plastic line and insert a plug where the plastic line is so it doesn't leak. Or I could just use a coupler in its place. Remember, these come on and off very, very easily. So I'm off to my aircraft, going to go cut the static line and insert this. With the syringe in place, we're going to take a look at the altimeter this time and the airspeed. And then we're going to come back to the syringe and we're going to pull about a quarter of an inch. No more. We're not going to push in. We want a vacuum. So we are pulling out. And then we take a look at the altimeter and we notice that we are higher in the sky because we have lowered the static pressure. We can come back to our syringe if we desire and pull another quarter of an inch and then take a look at our altimeter. Notice the airspeed is increasing. And again, we want to wait and see if we can get a full minute without losing either the altitude or the airspeed. Easier to look at the airspeed sometimes. And a leak-free system will mean that those numbers will stay steady. And then when we're done, we can disconnect our vacuum. When we are done with the static testing, we can disconnect this, of course, from our static line and replace it with a coupler. Or we could leave this guy in here, remove the plastic tube, and install a plug which was made for that purpose. And that way we have a place to test it in the future by removing the plug and putting our plastic line back in. I got this plug from Steinair. Your pedo system may be different from the one we showed here. However, the principles are the same. The pedo system must be able to hold pressure and the static system must not leak. Certified aircraft that fly IFR must have this system checked professionally every 24 months. And to the patrons that make these tips possible, a big thanks. And for the rest of us, back to building.